Hey guys, Bizarro Productions here. So I love Skyrim, and I love everything you can do in Skyrim. I love how you can build a house in that one add-on. You can, like, you can go explore dungeons in the medieval times. You can go join a war. You can do so much in that game, and I'm just a huge fan of it. It's the first game that got me into open world, so that explains why I'm a huge fan of open world now. And almost everything about Skyrim is just fantastic, in my opinion. Well, I am going to buy Skyrim for the Nintendo Switch. Why? because I want to play the game on the go. Even if I already own the thing, I don't own the remastered version, so I hope it is the remastered version, but still, I want to play this game on the go wherever I am. Even if the battery life is terrible, I still want to be able to just pick it up and play my Skyrim experience wherever I want. Well, Bethesda kind of surprised me with two new things that'll be on the Switch edition. The first thing is that you'll be able to scan in amiibos like uh, Link, and it will actually show up in the game and and well I think that's pretty interesting it's not really it doesn't really appeal to me because I don't have any link amiibos and it doesn't really change the experience that much so it's not like a huge thing in my opinion but the thing that I do want to talk about in this video is the motion controls you'll be able to use with the joy cons so basically in this game you'll be able to like move around to the joy cons and it will actually cause like your sword to swing, your bow to like shoot an arrow. And motion controls when done right are very good. Now let me say something first. I am a fan of gyro aiming and in case you don't know gyro aiming is where like let's say in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when you pull out a bow and you move around the controller, the bow moves with that. And I just love gyro, it's such a cool effect. But these motion controls aren't that. It, it'll probably have gyro in the game, but these are not, this is not traditional motion controls. I know motion controls, and from the video they showed of where you swing around the Joy-Cons and all that, of motion controls, so they can immerse you while you're playing with this experience, and I really love that. But the fact that these motion controls don't look as immersive is a huge blow but it doesn't mean they're terrible i have to try it out first to get my final thoughts but these motion controls that you do where you swing the sword look pretty bad in my opinion just like if you see it for yourself it doesn't really look that great and even if it is like great it looks really it doesn't look that convenient so so i doubt i'll ever be using it and i doubt a lot of people will use it Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below, and see you.